is in fact the third meeting between these two players in international competition. I've already mentioned when they met in the final of the Philippine Grand Prix goal event in 2009. They met each other last year as well in the last 16 of the Asian Championships. Both their previous meetings have been won by Chen Long in two very convincing games. And not only has Hu Yun got to contend with the big occasion, he's never been in a Super Series tournament final before. He's also got to play against a man who, up till now, he hasn't even got close against. Well, funny old things happen in sport. One of them, of course, happened to Chen Long at last year's World Championships. He, of course, was the number five seed, and he lost in the first round to the Guatemalan player, Kevin Jordan. Well, following that surprise defeat, Chen Long then promptly won his next three tournaments he played, including this one. Well, if that's any indication of whether Hu Yun is up for this final and relaxed and settled, that's certainly a good sign. on the top of the tape, fell over. Close to China. Already seven titles to his name, including four Super Series titles, three of them last year. is very much the singles tactics. Trying out the move your opponents. Make them move to all four corners of the court. Concerned in his semi final against the Indian player AJ Jayaram because I think it was four occasions badly slipped on court. Oh. It just slipped away from under him. I wonder if he's going to wear a different pair of shoes today. through to today's final. Chen Long yesterday didn't have to play his semi-final against his teammate, the number four seed, Du Peng Yu. And as far as Hu Yun was concerned, he was given a walk over in the second round against the number two seed, Chen Jin.
Well, not many long rallies at the moment. Chen Long will obviously be very fresh, the fact that he didn't have to play against his teammate Du Pyong Yu, who's a very physical player in the semi-final yesterday. He'll be fresh, but doesn't look sharp. Sometimes it's not always a good thing to be given a walkover. Didn't Roger Federer will tell you that about the recent US Open tennis. Given a walk over in his last 16 match and then promptly lost in the quarter final to Thomas Burdick. the short lift so you often see this in singles when the players manage to take the shuttle early at the net they make the shuttle spin and tumble and that means for an opponent then to get it back you've got to allow the shuttle to come out of the tumble so that you can hit the base on the shuttle the cork otherwise you don't get any control at all and by the time you've let it come out of the tumble difficult to get the shuffle to the back of the court. Looks pretty relaxed at the moment, does Chen Long, the defending champion. It's just wide. Well, I know it's only early stages, but already it seems to me as if Hu Yun has decided that the way he can win the rallies is playing tight, tight spinning neck shots and then standing his ground. There's the neck shot. Mm, not taking it high enough. Got to be the first one to the net if you want to take advantage of that net play.
just not perfect for this game. That's the next shot I was talking about. Yep, sets up the rally. What a difference when he was there first. to net shot but he's right to try and make those as tight as possible there more of an effort to lunge forward with the racket arm outstretched the right idea but it's not quite the right execution <laughs> previous winning smash from Chen Long had been cross court that time straight down the line the variation Wonderful. Look, he's taking it so late. Drives it straight down the line. And look how quickly he comes forward again. Great recovery. Oh, he's got a backhand smash as well. And it looked to me as if we were just running out of ideas in that rally. A couple of shots he played, he thought should have probably been winners and back they came two points away from the opening game now Chen Long he's got to do I think he's got to take more initiative rather than just reacting to what Chen Long is throwing at him if he can dictate the pace come on the, the rallies oh that's nice mm. so as Chen Long has the opportunity to play the attacking shot tends to win the rally nine Game point opportunities. One of the performance in the opening game there from Chen Long. Total control. 21 11. 
confirms the umpire. Yeah. Must have been one on the line. 15 minutes for that opening game for the defending champion. Well, the defending champion looked very much in control in that opening game, taking it 21-11. Quite frankly, when you see him playing as well as he did in the first game, it's difficult to understand why this is his first final of the year. Right, as China Masters, being in four semi-finals, but not reached a final. I suppose the answer to that is the quality of the opposition. Lee Chong Wei lost to Lee Chong Wei in the Malaysian. Swiss lost to Lee Hyun Il. Asian Championships lost to his teammate Du Peng Yu. And of course, the Olympic Games lost to the eventual silver medalist, the Malaysian Lee Chong Wei. <laughs> That's nice. Oof, just wide. Well, there was no question of it being out the back of the board. It was a question of the sideline. Of the net, you force the short lift, and then your big power play, your attacking shots come into their own. Oh, there's the slip. Talking about that in his semi final. Maybe he hasn't changed his shoes from yesterday's match. 
four times that happened yesterday. We got very concerned about him. Because that's how injuries happen. Mm. Well, we're looking at Chin Long at the moment, but I have to say that Hu Yun was just stretching out and feeling his knee. Yeah. Oh dear, that didn't look good at all. Concerned about who you're under is looking for some spray. Yes, I think he's concerned about his knee. Oh dear. Well, I talked yesterday about how shoes didn't seem to be gripping the court properly, how injuries can happen. And he slipped again in that previous rally. And he's obviously in a bit of physical distress. in his movement to me. When he lunged forward to the net, he brought his left leg up, put him, push himself back. Normally, he'd push back off his right leg. Yep, same again there. The way he moves forward, then brings the left leg forward after his lunge forward to the net, and that's always a sign that he's not got, or that a player has not got confidence in their right leg, in their lunge leg. Just inside that back line. Perfect 
Lentz on that shot from Chen Long. Tall athlete is Chen Long. One metre eighty nine, that's six foot two. turn your back on your opponent here who's goes back to the net he can't see where Chen Long is and Chen Long is ready and waiting for his cross court drop shot the top of the tape from Chen Long. Racket arm outstretched. Wonderful. Mm, pushes wide. And sense the danger. That's six, seven now. Three good points for Chen Long. Just missed it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good call, line judge. He won back level again. Oh, 
apologises for the net cord. But he created his own luck there. Look at that, how early he took it, that racket just chopping down underneath the shuttle, making the shuttle tumble. with a two-point advantage and a three-point advantage in the opening game. And I'm not sure that Hu Yun was totally no, 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 no. So the umpire calls play to resume. 11-9, the advantage in the second game to the defending champion, having won the first. There is Lee Yongbo, head coach. Interesting. Spectator here. Oh. Yeah, the net play in this singles final is becoming more and more important. to extend it as long as he did because he was under a barrage of smashes. Desperation defense. idea to try and pounce on the next shots try and make the kill
The time is running out for this man. seems to be enjoying this match, enjoying proceedings. Of course, a clean sweep for China at the recent London Olympic Games. All five gold medals. In fact, it was a very good net shot from Hu Yun. But absolutely launching himself towards that, took that shuttle just off the top of the tape to play the winner. Magnificent play from Chen Long. his dominance. Same thing's happening here in the second. Nine all, if you remember. Yeah. Rally as the defending champion, seven match point opportunities to retain his title. That's wide, only needed the one comprehensive victory 21 11, 
2114. His second title here at the Toronto Masters in as many years. The home fans applaud. And so they showed a fine performance from Chen Long. In fact, only dropped one game throughout the tournament. That was in the very first round against the 18-year-old Dane, Victor Axelsson. But as you can see, very, very comfortable in the final against Hu Yun. 21-11, 21-13 in 40 minutes of play. So to the prize presentation for the men's singles here at the Li Ning China Masters 2012. <laughs> representing Hong Kong in his first ever Super Series tournament final. For Chen Long, his third consecutive final here at the China Masters and his second consecutive title. Mr. Lee Yongbo steps forward to present the trophies.
former world champion himself, but now Deputy Director General of Table Tennis and Badminton Administration Centre and Vice President of Chinese Badminton Association. Mascots presented by Mr. Fang Jiang Guo. And the prize money presented by Mr. Liu Hongwei. The Super Series title sponsors Osin. So for Chen Long, his eighth career title, his fifth Super Series title. champion once again here at the China Masters.